and, 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 and here is Gerald Salente of the uh, Trends Journal, uh, trendsresearch.com, uh, joining us. And uh, again, I, hands down, he is everybody's favorite guest. Uh, and uh, so you want him, you got him. Uh, right here, and we don't do pre-interviews. It's whatever he basically wants to cover and, you know, points I want to ask. But, but Gerald, I just got to ask you. I mean, it's coming to a head with the TSA. They're now at highway checkpoints taking people into trailers and grabbing their genitals. I mean, I don't fly now, basically, unless I have to because of it. I won't fly with my wife and kids because I can't put up with it. Uh, and, and now they've got Army checkpoints popping up, not just drills everywhere. I mean, they are, we're going into martial law. They're just not going to call it that. Uh, Jumbotron's going up at Mall of America, Walmart, saying don't trust anyone but Big Sis. Uh, Obama announcements to people's phones. I mean, we are going into a science fiction system. Why is the ruling class turning the heat up a thousand times? I mean, this is just, I feel like I'm in fantasy land right now. Well, we said when the crash began in the panic of 08, that we said that after all of the recovery failed, they would take us to war. And taking us to war takes its shape in different ways. And the war now is to control the people. Look at the numbers that just came out two days ago. Oh, violent crime is up 18%. What a shock. Blow me away. How could that have happened? You know my saying, when people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And by the way, before we go on, I want to thank you so much for all you are doing, for how hard you and your team are working and how dedicated you all are. And I'm listening to that lineup of guests that you have. And there's nothing in any of the media, mainstream or otherwise, that could match a ticket like that. And so thank you very much for what you're doing. And it also came into my mind many, well, about oh, four years ago, about that you did that expose on Obama when everyone was still drinking the Kool-Aid called the Obama deception. And I encourage everyone to take a look at that because it fit right in with our motto, the signature of the Trends Journal, history before it happens and that's what you did with the obama deception with myself and others that were on there we showed the history of how this would play out when he just started playing the role as commander and chief and then before i answer your question please after i get off the air uh, we'd like to also contribute to keeping this money bomb growing so you could have the best equipment, the best satellite hookups, and get this message around the world. Because as Joseph Stiglitz said, the Nobel Peace Prize winner, yeah, it's crashing over there in Europe. No kidding. I, I, I would have never guessed. Couldn't be because they have 25% unemployment in Greeks. No. Couldn't be because 80,000 people took to the streets yesterday in Greece, protesting again, the fourth one this month. No, no, that had nothing to do with it. Couldn't be because of those millions of Spanish that are taking to the streets vir virtually weekly, and circling the parliament because of the poverty that's being imposed upon them, the money grab being taken from them and given to the banks. No, no, that would have nothing to do with the depression. They only have 25% unemployment. Officially, over 50% unemployment for the young people in the country. So the whole system is collapsing around the world. Oh, I forgot. The wars in Libya. You remember that humanitarian mission? Hey, I saw the commander-in-chief yucking it up with John Stewart. I didn't watch it. I only watched the clip. Yeah. The commander-in-chief sitting on a cheap two-bit clown show talking about foreign policy. Would you imagine Eisenhower sitting there? That's how low the bar has fallen in America. And... 
Check it out. Obama says about Libya and the problems that they had, we're going to fix it. Oh, yeah, you're going to fix it. Hey, just like you fixed it in Afghanistan with the 30,000 troops that you sent over there. And what did they do? Oh, they got killed, a lot of them, wiped out a lot of people. Oh, 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 it didn't make the front page of the toilet paper of record yesterday. It was buried on page 12. They killed another three little Afghan children. But who cares? Because it's the presidential reality show. So the whole thing is collapsing. And what are they doing? They're distracting us at every moment. Last week it was Big Bird. This week it's about Romney's binder. And no one is speaking about the issues. Both of these little boys are, are just going on all the talk shows, all the yucking it up. <laughs> I love the way they laugh. They were criticizing Biden for his behavior when he was debating Ryan, you know. The, the Cheshire cat against the mouse. That's what it looked like to me. And here's uh, uh, Biden. <laughs> Check it out. Go to the, uh, look at the, the dinner that Obama, the Al Smith dinner and Romney were out yesterday. And you see the picture there. <laughs> I used to work in politics. That's what they do. They're a bunch of phonies. It's always, <laughs> and all the stooges around them laugh on cue. So it takes it to the bigger level about you talking about all these leaders in all these different positions that are leading us to destruction. It's the same in, in Germany with that Merkel. It's the same over there in Spain with Rajoy. It's the same over there in Italy with three card Monty. It's the same everywhere. It's the club and they're destroying us. And the big news today that, hey, we got to talk about Romney's binder. Oh, oh, and I love the other one, his boy Tag. I love the names. Mitt Tag. Yeah, you're it. He was going to come down there swinging. Oh, yeah, swinging at Obama. What was he going to do, toss a swing at him? These guys never fought a day in their lives. All they are are big mouths, so it's not making the news. Just a minor little story. Eh, doesn't make much difference. They just did a deal yesterday, today, in, in, uh, in Europe, in Brussels. It's happened. The banking systems have merged. They have now taken control, sovereign control, over all of the banks throughout Europe and have now put it under the one bank in Brussels. Now it's a new central bank. There is a new world order. No, it's not the Illuminati. You don't have to go find it someplace hiding. It's in front of everybody's eyes, Alex. The new world order is the banking order. It's an old world order. They kind of try to cover it up, and they're covering it up again. This is not news that's making the news. And, and as you said, it's, it's in the paper, but in the back of it, it's like, oh, yeah, and now the country's all sovereignty will be given to the private bank. And that's the way it is. And you're going to take your taxes and pay it to foreign bankers and tell you how lazy you are. How's that sound? And, and they call it a world government and brag they've conquered us and the Rothschilds and Rockefellers, as you know. Financial Times has reported they just merged their whole